a sort of um, a sort of vague uh, idea of how I want it to sound, but really vague. And um, you know, just a few instructions that I wanted it to, drums to be bigger sounding and less instruments, but bigger sounds to the instruments. But beyond that, nothing really. You know, we had to sort of dig away until. We, hit on something. we evolved into this sort of new place of having a collaboration of I would maybe put, start a beat or a piano. Something's got sort of like kind of put together. Paul hears and then starts layering things on that. Sort of even something from sort of four bars into a sort of a 30 second piece of music. So things that weren't even demos turned into demos, turned into a version. And then some of those appear on the record. Get up in the mind together. Daddy, there's more. I suppose, yeah, it's, I suppose it's me just saying I'm quite happy with my place in the world. I've found particularly crave for anything else. I'm quite happy with what I've got, which is um, probably only taken me like sort of 55 years or whatever it is. But um, but it's, nice, it's a nice feeling to have, yeah. You know, your music most of the time just reflects what you, whatever mood you're in, I suppose, really, to some extent, anyway. So I'm obviously in a happy, positive place, I suppose. You know, it's got a lot of dance in the music, I think. It's got a lot of movement. And, there's something physical about the rhythms in the song, in the music as well. But I mean, you know, there's always that kind of edginess in the playing on not every song, but there's always that edgy thing as well. So it never gets too soft, I don't think. There's always edgy moments as well in the music. No reason why, just to fill the time. of the album really is, is Ben Godelia, who's the drummer from the Moons, he played drums on all the tracks pretty much. Steve Caddock played on a, on a couple of things, Andy Croft played on a lot of the stuff, he was a, and he did do it, yeah, all the great um, backing vocal arrangements and stuff as well. Paul's got this lovely way of recording now, very open way, and for that reason I think we're really creative and um, we all work off each other, so that's what I love about working with Paul. The sky. I've been working with Paul for around well, three years nearly now. And this last year has been a lot of studio work, a lot of demoing, and um, managed to get on most of the, the new album as well. Black Bar in this studio is amazing, yeah, it just keeps getting better and better. It's like our church. It's got so many different instruments here, and uh, it's got a great sound, it's got a really tight sound. It's like a playground for the adults, you know. There's two tracks on the album that I've actually played on. It's just a great atmosphere, it's, it's a great room. And all the guys that work here are great as well, so no, it's good fun, good place, good place to be. What's the routine like when you're working down here? What's the daily routine? Start at 12 and then work through till whatever, really, two o'clock, you know. We just work, we just keep on, really. We have very few breaks, it's quite intense. Again, that, that's the freedom of having your, your own studio, you know, because you can do that. It works for us anyway, work very intensely for three or four days and then have a week off or whatever it may be, and sometimes it might be longer. Do as much as possible, come away and listen to it and reassess it, uh, reassess it and um, yeah, come back to it, you know.